Okay, tonight I will be making Papa's Famous Country Biscuits. Here's all the ingredients that I have prepared, but first, before we do anything, I want you to notice the oven is preheated to 400 degrees. The pan was in the oven. I like to start with a hot pan. Now let's look at the ingredients. Here's the butter. Use a whole stick of butter, cut it in half, and then take this half and cut, cut one third of it off, okay? This third we'll put in the pan. Let it be melting. This third I have already melted. Large bowl. Eight cups of flour. And I will start by <clears throat> taking my fist and just go around and around and around and make a huge crater. The half of a stick of butter I have already pre-melted and it's ready. This is it. Just stop it right in the middle. One cup of buttermilk. Now this is the fun part. Just squish it between your fingers and I like to keep the bowl rotating. You spread, you spread out, get wider so that you can take in more flour to get the right texture and you keep working with it until you get the desired texture okay you can see that 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 looks pretty good Now, I will quickly wash my hands. Okay, the reason I wash my hands is because this part, you, you, I didn't want the uh, dough on my hand. You just kind of go under and bring it over from the bottom, bring it up, and rotate your bowl. What you want to do here is to get the outside of the dough ball covered with flour so it won't stick to your hand when you roll the biscuits. Okay, that looks that looks pretty good. Meanwhile, back at the back at the uh, pan over here, we got the butter. We just need to This is not magic. It just needs to have enough on there to so that uh, the Biscuits will release. I'm going to take that and put it in here and we'll use it later. Okay, here's the part that takes practice. Okay. And you choke it off. Like you were choking the cat head off. That's why they call them cat head biscuits. Keep plenty of flour on your hand because you don't want the dough to stick to your hand. You keep rotating the uh, your flour ball to keep it flour on the outside so it won't stick to your hand. Got to continuously rotate the flour, I mean, rotate the dough ball to keep flour on the outside of it so that it won't stick to your hand. It's important to keep it 
wet on the inside but dry on the outside. And that's just a, that takes practice. This one will be a little bigger than the rest of them, but that's okay. Now then, I always just take the back of my fingers and kind of, kind of press them down a little bit. And now it's ready for the oven. Okay, I put the biscuits in the oven for eight minutes. And now I'll check and see what we got. Okay, after eight minutes, you can see you still have some flour showing on the outside. So what we're going to do is we're going to coat the biscuits. I took the, the rest of the butter. It's already been pre-melted. And we'll put a good heavy coat of butter on the biscuits. This is important because this is what gives you a good crust. Again, I used a half stick of butter in the biscuits and then a third of what was left over, I greased the pan and then the rest put on top of the biscuits. Now I will place the biscuits back in the oven and let them brown. And we will time that for another eight minutes. Okay, we started with eight cups of flour, but you can see we only used about half of it. And, but you need to have enough flour so that you can have a good bed for the dough to set. Okay, the biscuits have been in the oven now for the second eight minute period. I'm going to check the bottoms to see if, see if they're brown. Oh yeah, golden brown. Looks good. Usually the bottom will get brown before the top, so I will put the oven on broil. Now I've learned that when you put the oven on broil, you don't walk away because it will slip up on you and you'll burn your biscuits before you know it. So usually it takes about a minute, two max, and they should come out golden brown. We'll see. Ah, oh, you can see they're golden brown. Now then, a word of caution. All ovens are not created equal. So from the time you hit the broil until you take them out, you should check them. I checked these about three times. Um, Okay, good luck.